In this video I'm going to talk about SQL or structured query language. Um, I'm going to talk about it partly because it's a tool for big data but also I'm going to talk about some other places where you might encounter SQL or get an opportunity to use it and I'll also introduce you to some basic commands to get started with it. So I've talked about this as SQL and structured query language. Um, you might call it SQL, but generally it's pronounced SQL. I'll freely admit that I called it SQL for quite a while before I realized everyone else was calling it SQL. Um, and it's, it's a way of querying data, basically, as you might guess from the name. Uh, and typically that data is in CSVs and you would talk about it as tables. You can use SQL to query one table, but it's particularly powerful in the way that it allows you to query multiple tables at the same time, normally where they share some common piece of information. And it's not only one language, it's actually a series of languages, a family of languages. Um, whenever you see the letters SQ and L in the name of a language, you can pretty much be sure it is a type of SQL. So SQLite, MySQL, PostgreSQL are all examples of um, languages that are based on SQL and they vary slightly. There are some commands that will be in some but not in others but um, they're very very similar. And they allow you to do the sorts of things that you would do in spreadsheets or in uh, languages like R and Python. So, so you can filter <coughs> data, you can calculate things, join data together, aggregate it, uh, create pivots as well. So the, the main reason that you might use it is the data is too big for you to do that in um, other approaches like spreadsheets or other programming languages. And it uses statements like this to do that. I'm going to break this down a little bit later on in a few minutes, but um, what we have here is a command or a statement which says select everything from a table called my table. Uh, were the field or column amount in that table is greater than 10. So were set also greater than 10 in the amount column, select all of those results and display them. That's what a SQL statement looks like. And I'll break that down, as I said, and talk about those different commands in that statement in a couple of minutes. But first of all, I want to show you all the different places you might come across um, SQL. APIs, for example, are one area you quite often will uh, have an opportunity to query the data in the API by using a SQL statement. You can see in this example, this is morph.io, which is a scraping tool. And the API for that, you can see you, you uh, type in your SQL query and it will give you a URL at the end that essentially gives you the answers to your query. Mapping tools like Kartor also have the functionality to form SQL queries as well. You'll come across SQL in data world. It's a particularly useful tool for dealing with larger data sets and running your own queries, saving them and sharing them. There's um, a tool called Franchise which allows you to run SQL queries right in your browser. This uses SQLite, which is a quite a common form of SQL, a lighter form of SQL. And not only does this run SQL queries, but it will visualize the results you can see. There's an example there which presents the results on a map. You can also generate charts from it as well. You can write SQL queries locally on your desktop um, using a tool like DB Browser, which is a way of running SQL queries and creating databases essentially on your computer. And Google itself, Google Sheets, has a function that allows you to write SQL queries. You can see an example there which queries a range of cells and then um, has a SQL statement um, and then an extra parameter there as well. And this is covered in my book um, finding stories in spreadsheets. There's a chapter devoted to query which also explains how to write SQL queries. And you can run this in R as well. There's a package in R called SQL DF which um, again allows you to write SQL queries. 
And finally, um, a, a tool that I've mentioned in a separate video about big data, the tool BigQuery, which is a um, service provided by Google, uh, which um, uh, allows you to run very, very powerful queries on large data sets. This uses SQL as well, and you can see an example in the bottom right there of a statement which selects some information from a, a database, a large data set called Manchester.allcrime, and, um, and provides results. So I said I'd come back to a SQL statement. Um, SQL is a very, very simple language. There's actually only a few commands, really, that you need to know to, to form most basic queries. And um, the three main ones are select, from, and where. Uh, select is the command which specifies what you want to select from the data, uh, data set of a table. And in SQL, an asterisk means everything. So in that first example, you can see that says select asterisk from council spending. So that means select everything. Uh, the word from, the command from, specifies which table or tables you want to select from, obviously. So in this case, we're selecting from a table called council spending. And this is normally in the, um, in the tool that you're running SQL in. So if you were doing this on an API, you would have a table in that API that you would name. Were is a, is a command that's used to specify any filters or conditions that you want to use for your data. So in the second example there, we're selecting everything from the table council spending, were the field or the column in that table, invoice amount, is greater than 3,000. So we're getting everything basically a filtered view on this table where this column is greater than 3,000. Now, obviously, you don't always have to select everything. So in this third example, you can see we're selecting two fields, invoice amount and directorate, from this table where this field is greater than 3,000. What's important to point out is that um, if you want to use any fields in your query, so if you want to apply a filter or add up a number, then it has to be selected first here. If you're, if you're filtering on a column that hasn't been selected, you'll get an error because it's not been selected first. Now, in addition to those basic commands, you can also use commands like sum or count or average, AVG, to make calculations at the same time as you select. In this first example, you can see we're using count um, to count all the fields, uh, all the um, rows, essentially, from this table that match this criteria. So instead of returning all the rows where the invoice amount is greater than 3,000, it's going to return a count of how many rows match that criteria. It's going to return one number. In the second example, instead of returning a particular column, it's returning the, the sum of all the values in that column. So it's going to um, add up all the amounts in invoice amount from this table where um, the vendor name is this. And in fact, this will probably throw an error um, because we've not specified vendor name up here. And then the third example, a similar sort of process, calculates an average for this field in this table. So these three commands are used with select and uh, normally one field name to make a calculation of a sum or an average or a count. And then a, another command I want to introduce, another basic command, very useful command, is group by. And in fact, I'll mention a couple of other commands down here as well. Group by essentially creates a pivot table. So in this example, we're selecting the column vendor name and a sum of the column invoice amount from the council spending table, but we're grouping by vendor name. Now what that means is that it will calculate this sum, but it will group the sums by vendor name. So we'll get a total of invoice amount for each different vendor. That's what group by is going to do. Essentially what you get in a pivot table, an amount per vendor. So a group by is a way of creating a pivot table. Order by just formats that pivot table so that it's um, ordered by 
the sum, the sum of the invoice amount that we've already selected here, and it's ordered by that sum descending, so from largest to smallest. So the result of this is going to be a table with um, all the different vendors listed and a sum for each from the largest sum to the smallest. So that's all I wanted to talk about in terms of SQL because it is likely that you will need to use it at some point. I'll mention some resources for finding out more in a moment and we'll obviously explore this in the workshop. Um, it's especially useful if you're dealing with big data and big query in particular. It is a really simple language. You can pick up the basics very quickly um, and obviously there's a lot of documentation to refer to when you end up in a situation where you need to use SQL. And in fact, most of the tools that use SQL, so if you come across something like data.table uh, data or an API that uses it, they'll probably have examples and documentation to help you. It's also worth pointing out that there are different variations. So sometimes if you have learned a bit of SQL, you might find some things that only work in some languages and not in others. SQLite is a good example of this. It is a lighter version of SQL and some things that you can do in other variations of SQL um, will not work in SQLite. It's not as powerful. So there's plenty of places to read more about this. Um, an introduction to SQL for journalists, that link will take you to a, a guide that I've put together for you. Um, data World has a um, section on learning SQL basics. And this reading, a uh, reading for this week from Valence Jones and McKee um, also talks more broadly about working with databases, uh, including some um, material on SQL. On the report on GitHub, you will find a whole range of other places that you can use SQL as well. So you'll find stuff on using it in Google Sheets, in Carto, in um, QuickCode and Morph.io, DataWorld, R, Franchise, in Firefox, SQLite Manager, um, and so on and so forth. So there's, there's loads of guides there if you want to try out any of those as well. <laughs>